Hello! Um, today I have a little bit of some quiet time, so I am just gonna have Viridi and another Ice Water Games called Tenderfoot going on, uh, on the screen while I sort of talk about what's been going on and maybe, maybe there'll, there'll be some confessions thrown in as well. Um, I haven't really been taking care of my Viridi plants all that well, so let's try to do that. And if my audio is a little bit weird, it's because I have my microphone on stereo right now, and I'm just trying that out to see how the audio will be. And I have the, the Viridian and Tenderfoot music going on at the same time, so it might be a little bit awkward. Taking care of my plants. I think the cool thing about Viridi is that it lets you take care of all these different plants. And they also have Viridi on the, on the, um, in the Android store as well, or Google Play, so I have that on my phone as well. I wonder if I have any free seedlings. Hmm, some Brevivum. Okay. I think we might have a few some Brevivums already. And let's see about Tenderfoot. I think this is the Tenderfoot. Hello. Not actually sure what this means. Yeah. But anyway, I'm just gonna have those two games running while I do some talking and stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be working at the same time, so it's a little, it's a little weird, like, my situation right now is a little bit crazy, um, we actually want to move, um, closer to my parents, uh, and when I say we, I mean my family and I because I have a family. Um, I have a husband and two kids. Shocker, yeah. And we currently live close to my husband's parents and we want to have the kids um, get some of my culture from my parents. And so we're going to move closer to my parents. The problem with that is that um, I'm the only one with a proper job right now. If you've um, watched some of my other videos, or I think... Um, my one live stream, I talked about my job as a freelance web designer. And so, um, that's what I do. I do it every day, and that's where I get my money from. And, um, my husband and I have a different business um, we, we've just started it and it's it's okay like um, we've started an Etsy store and we sell certain things um, and we've only had a few orders. 
like most of them or half of them have been from family um, and the rest have been from Etsy customers. And it's not really enough to sustain us really and I'm spending a lot of time doing marketing and taking pictures, doing Photoshop and there hasn't been a lot of money coming in from that yet so it's it's a little frustrating and it sort of makes me wonder if we should uh, start a Shopify uh, website so then we could do like a blog on it and do like more SEO which is search engine optimization and probably try to get more customers that way um, and I've also, I've also been doing YouTube videos for that too so it's it's a really intense like really intense schedule for me because I have my regular job I have this other business and then I have my family to take care of and then um, whenever I can I try to do a video for you guys so it's been it's been a lot of stuff to do um, and this music is uh, I can't do anything about this but I can probably edit the mute okay they don't have a mute on tenderfoot so um but yeah like I don't think I'm gonna be able to post a lot of videos uh, for a while I'm gonna try to do live streams or just try to make videos like this where I have something going on on the screen for you guys and then I just do my work on another screen um, And so, yeah. What am I doing? Okay, so I saved. I'm resizing pictures on my first screen, and I think I've saved all of them. So next is, I need to upload them. can I talk about so yeah a Shopify store and we're actually gonna do some craft fairs or craft festivals um, so that will be interesting if we can do well on those then that might be that would be really good because we're gonna be bringing in like two thousand dollars worth of inventory and that would be really awesome if we get to sell a lot of that mm, I think I need to go into the drop box That sky in Tenderfoot is really cool. It's like purples and aquas and magentas. Oh, I think this is the wrong drop box. Sign out and then sign back in as a different account. the end of April. 
about-ish. And we're going to be coming up into May. And I think May is going to be a really busy month for me. Um, June is when the kids get out of school. And we're going to have a show in June. And then July, I think, is when we're going to get ready to move. Um, and we will probably go in July to look at houses and try to buy a house. And then, actually, July is when we actually need to be moving because um, school starts in August. So, yeah. Well, this Dropbox is really slow. And I'm not really fond of the new Dropbox. So yeah. I have a quiet night tonight. Uh, the kids are with my husband at my in-law's house. And I'm here doing some work. Um, if you haven't yet, I suggest following me on Twitch. My screen name is MirisYPP on Twitch. Um, like I have one video on there right now where it's it was my Photoshop stream. So if you see that, then you found the right account. And the one thing I don't like about Twitch is that whenever I make a comment on something, or if I follow someone, they'll mispronounce my name. Like, they, they say that it's Miris Yip, and it's just Miris YPP. And I would have done it without the YPP part, but someone already took Miris by itself, so... Yeah. Um, what do I need to do now? I need to upload these images. Are these images too big? No, they're fine. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if anyone hates my latest uploads of Foss Alp Tram. Oh, did I just re-upload this image? No. I need to upload the other image. And I'm sorry if my uploads seem sporadic and not very well thought out. Like, I just... I'm not exactly sure what content to put up here, so I'm just doing whatever content I feel like.
I'm not sure about what you all like as far as content and hobbies and things like that. my hobbies um, I have a lot of different hobbies but I don't know if anyone would be interested in them like um, one thing that I do for well one thing I do is gardening like I do vegetables and Um, recently I've gotten into succulents. It's, it's just because of Viridi, it like piqued my interest in succulents and it's also for my business. Like I need to learn about succulents for my business. Another thing that I like to do... Um, I like to craft, like crochet, amigurumi, um, polymer clay, things like that. But I'm not good enough to do like DIY tutorials. And I don't really actually have a lot of free time. One thing I do like to do is cook and baking and I am pretty much forced to cook right now. Well not really forced, it's just like I should be cooking. Just because it um, saves you money if you cook for yourself. and don't get so much processed foods, it's healthier for you. And I'm sorry if um, the Tenderfoot screen is a little weird for you, it's because um, I have to move my mouse for my work and it's automatically matching my mouse like the Tenderfoot game is, so yeah. I'll take this. That's saying to this guy because he has a baby or he's going to make a baby. What else? Um, I 
have to open up this thing. Okay, good. Um... How about some confessions? Um... Okay. I have a hard time making friends and... and letting people know who I am because I feel like people have this preconception of who I am and I think that they would get offended or they will not like me if I sort of go against their preconceptions Another thing about that is that I'm not exactly sure how to act sometimes. Like, I think if people knew who I really am they would be really shocked. sure if I should expound on that or not. Mm, I don't know. One thing that I have problems with is like I actually have several different voices like there's the nice voice that I use to talk to people I don't know and to people that I'm interested in and then there's the like really angry grumpy voice that I use with everyone else, like my family and my husband. <laughs> um, what else do... I have more voices than that. Like I have... I think I have a really... I do have a really ex excited voice as well that is really loud and I think it could be high pitched but like the higher pitch I go the more excited I am but the lower I go and the more monotone it's like the more my it's it's like when I talk about technical things and things that are really dry and things that aren't very interesting or I'm talking about something that I don't really care about, something like that, I guess.
I think... Some things that people would be surprised by is that I really like to be vulgar, but I'm not vulgar all the time. Like, I try to be really polite and, like, really considerate of other people whenever possible. So yeah. It's tough sometimes. It's like, the quietest person around, that's me, and like, when the quietest person you know curses, you know that something bad happened, you know, yeah. has happened. The other day, I made a Chinese style pork and broccoli and I used like uh, country style ribs, which is like really fatty, or not, well, it could be fatty, but like, it's like a cheap, uh, cut of pork, and I cut it into slices, and I tenderized it with a slurry of baking soda and water. And some of the pieces came out actually feeling like beef, so it was kind of amazing. But like some of the some of them uh, were a little bit on the dry side, like like how some pork is. But overall, I was really impressed with it. 
and I think I hear some car doors, so my family is probably back. Um, so I will see you guys later. Bye.